Anonymous. We're here with Bloodsuckers Anonymous on Monster Mash 2000. Yeah! 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 How are you guys doing today? We're doing fantastic. Can I have you guys introduce yourselves? Sorry, you're from either side, I don't care. There's yeah. Chris! It's D2! Jake Dahlia. Chris Anonymous. I'm D2. <laughs> I'm Ravage Prime. Have a Fuck yeah. And for Lucifer. We're back. <laughs> back to action. All right. What have you guys been currently working on? Currently working on getting the EP released, which is today. Very exciting. Bunch of summer shows out. Just getting a good chance to get the new CD out and about. Sam. Oh. I'm Nick. Invader. <laughs> Invader Sam. Zombie, bro. And of course, no. getting ready for Zim. Monster Mash. Monster Mash. Yeah. First headlining show. Like, hell yeah. That's awesome. Right? That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys. You guys, have, you guys have worked long and hard. You guys fucking deserve it. Thank That's you. awesome. Me and that Five years in the making, man. Thank you. Um, which influences go into making your music other than horror? Um, other than horror, what? musically, <laughs> no, that's all you. And then, and what goes into our music? music? Uh, I don't know. A lot of my uh, influences are uh, things you wouldn't even think about, like uh, like 182, uh, which is surprising. Um, Angels and Airwaves, Kill Switch Engage, Vampires Everywhere, Wednesday 13. Wednesday 13. Wednesday. Because of you. The Offspring hey, by Accident. The Offspring by Accident. I'm not allowed to listen to them, otherwise I'll ruin it. Right. Um, other than that, dude, horror movies. Um, just a lot of shit that I grew up on, too, man. I basically sit down and I write something that I think sounds good. I always try to look at it from a perspective that's not my own, because somebody else doesn't like it, that nobody else is going to like it, you know? Right. I like to write or work on our music, at least from the perspective of the live show. Like, making it fun live. What was your first concert? Performing or going? Going, attending. Going, Trans Siberian Orchestra. Uh, Wednesday 13, Friday the 13th. Anonymous. How did you guys come up with that? Well, Bloodsuckers Anonymous is actually um, a track from the very first Frankenstein Frank Queens from 2013. Okay. And I don't know, to me it just sounded like, from what I was trying to do, I was very influenced by vampires everywhere at the time that I put this together. It just drifted me totally away from that. But at the time, you know, it, was, it kind of reflected what I was trying to do as far as also sticking with the horror thing and let's say 13, obviously. And then, I don't know, it just sounded like a cool name for a group of people. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> how do you guys feel so about the local music scene? I'm sorry, what? How do you guys feel so about the local music scene? Um, local. It's, <laughs> it's, local, definitely, sorry, it's local. definitely very, very, like, big. There's a lot going on. Uh, I'm just, there's a lot at the same time that's a lot that's too much of the scene. So at the same time, there's a lot going on and also very little going on. Which is why we try to come in and do something that's different from everybody else. There's a lot of mushroom head make the lights going on and something that bothers me just because they did it they got big you know do something else it's been done it's ran sports uh, i guess i shouldn't say that but, uh, yeah it definitely has but it has but so i'm very happy that there's a lot of opportunities for us, uh, to 
very thriving. I have a lot of people that I talk to in bands from out of the state, and they all tell me that they want to come here. They ask me if they should come to Cleveland because their scene is just not as thriving as ours. So we're very lucky to be here. How do you guys personally experience music? Like, do you guys prefer downloading or YouTube or buy CDs or just attend shows? How do you guys personally experience music? Love to buy CDs. Yeah. yeah, I'm huge into, I like having the physical artwork and, you know, being able to look through the, all the credits as far as producers and I like engineers having and things like that. Some, yeah. But I also, my favorite way to discover bands is to see them live and not know who they are. Yeah, it's more of like a personal connection opposed to just being a fan online. And I like that a lot better. What do you guys think about Cleveland venues? What do you guys think about Cleveland venues? Cleveland venues, I like a lot of them. I haven't been to as many of them as I should. I've been to the Fantasy, the Foundry, the Peabody's, obviously the Agora, and I think not many other than that. I know I do. The atmosphere that a lot of them set. I feel like they could be cleaner, but then I think again, it's Cleveland. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's Cleveland. Dirty. Most of they these are bars. <laughs> All right. How have you guys customized your instruments? I don't even play one anymore, thank God. Woo! <laughs> what the hell do you mean? <laughs> no, oh shit. <laughs> yes, Stop I play the microphone. Kicking. They can't understand. The I'm, I'm lead you microphone. Alright, alright. I don't play the very well. Thank you. I don't play the throat very well, too. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a better question for him and these two. Alright, I guess I'll go first. I put stickers online. Before I got it, I guess someone slapped EMGs and shit in it. Put a custom paint job on it. And it works. I got a uh, Jeff Beck Michael Kelly Patriot custom. It was actually just a stock guitar that I got at a uh, shitty music store down the road. <coughs> <laughs> uh, I got tired of it shitting all over me, so I had to uh, see more Duncan Black out of the store to do it. Pickups. And, uh, so your guitar has an anus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine doesn't. Weird. So, yeah, basically, don't do it. basically, the only thing different uh, about my instrument is I just have different pickups, active pickups. So, it's, uh, you have stickers so. too, don't act like you. I, I, have, I, have, a, I have a blood splatter decal and a. But as far as customize my instrument, I'd say uh, I did customize my instrument, but then I realized that I didn't have time that the nut for the uh, strap is suddenly missing. So I'm not going to be having a customized guitar. Tonight at least. Tonight at least. Next week for sure. Next week for sure. This bass will be a trend. <laughs> how, do you guys, how do you guys feel about mainstream music only being sold in stores and in certain genres of mainstream music? Oh, uh, like, if you go to Best Buy, there's the only like new modern, whatever you want to call it, music, but then you go to like huge record stores, there's still modern stuff, like there's no local, there's no right. old, there's nothing. How do you it's, guys feel about that? It's definitely a bummer. I wish it wasn't that way, but I understand that's what makes the most money. That's how business is going to survive. Let me get it. Um, it's pretty impressive. All right. You three. Wait. Me? Are you talking about So many of you guys are new. I'm like, shit, sorry. Oh. One, two, three. You four. What are your thoughts on the Blood Sluggers and Honors project all together? Fucking love. Like, just all together. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> 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 But I really don't with him. I was there when he was born. I watched the egg hatch out of his brain. I love it. I love everything they're doing. I love everything about it. I love all the people in it. I just made so many friends through it. And it's just helped me a lot over the past couple of months that I've known them. And it's just it's a wonderful thing. Very wonderful. You <laughs> Do you guys feel like your sound is always developing? Or I know you guys don't have like one constant sound that's always changing. So how would you define your sound progression? Uh, well, let's see here. We, we started out doing um, Mia was the first song to record, and obviously that one starts off real strong with power. You know what I mean? And 
the more songs we recorded, the more I like wanted to put more like feeling into it. So like, as we were going through our first EP and going song by song, we were actually getting more like melodic and more like upbeat. You know Thank what I you. mean? Like. Um, our next EP. Oh Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Our next EP is like so good. So good so far. I mean, we got four tracks, uh, instrumentals done on it and whatnot. Like, you, you'll definitely be able to tell the progression, but it's just more uplifting, more uh, feel good, I guess. You know? Except it's all about being murdered and whatnot. But, you know, that's cool too. As every song should be. Yeah. Somebody you can relate to. <laughs> Fun question. So, <laughs> what would you guys do if you woke up huh? naked, this is thank you. laying next to Betty White, and she was also naked? Mm -hmm. Nice. But <laughs> no one knew what happened. <laughs> you don't know why she's naked. She's just naked. If and nobody knows what happens, then who cares? <laughs> If nobody knew what happened, I'd make something going on. <laughs> so I didn't know if the pieces are there. Like, well, she's here, oh, she's both right. naked, we might as well do it. I started right. I can say I fucked Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> I would just That's get out deep. and walk the fuck out. I'd say it's about time. I know. About time. It's about time. Oh, man. Was she dead? Hold on, hold on. Was she dead? No, no, she's not. Oh, no. I mean, still probably I mean, if she's dead, we're definitely doing it. Yeah, I definitely enjoy having sex. We might not. I mean, she could die anytime. She's really old. I enjoy having sex with dust. What would you guys say to Charlie Manson? What about Charlie Manson? What would you guys say to Charlie Manson? I would say... <laughs> Good work. Good work. I feel, uh, um, didn't he come up with open like strike your bitch or some shit? He did. I just have a new EP out. What are your thoughts on it compared to the other demo you guys had? Um, the one with the three tracks. It's just kind of, it goes in a little more variety of directions. And uh, it's just higher quality a little bit. But it's more like, that was really just kind of like a trailer. That was the trailer to the EP we thought. It was just more like, more than anything, it's just a preview of what the EP was going to have. I'm very happy with the EP. I'm very happy with the EP. Can't wait to listen to it and pick it up. Can't wait to get it up. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> um, really, I'm really stuck for questions right now. Like just seeing you guys, is just like amazing. Like that's enough for me right there. <laughs> sure, porn star names. Porn star names start here. Start here. Atomic Steve Great. <laughs> this is like your name. You are a porn star. I guess never really thought about it. As the world turns. <laughs> <laughs> or if I fall asleep. Come on. Yeah, no, oh, that's just sad. Oh, boom. <laughs> I was like, what am I saying? That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. We could even do rock. Yeah. If you're in the you necro. You can kind of do that. Everyone does a necro feel. That's like the thing. They're all pretty. If you think about it enough, anything can be a necro. Now, if it's a D2 song, they party every day. No, if you're if a D2 song name was gonna be a song, it would be shit-faced hard track. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. 
hold on, hold on. Let's take this question, this question just a little bit further. Could you describe this sexual position yes. named after one of your songs? If I fall asleep, Sine it spreads had a good itself. Sine <laughs> had a good description of I fall asleep. Mine was just, if you fall asleep, I'm going to put the car. And then the world turns. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the way of switching. My description would be good. I can't find it. I'd want it to be upside down. <laughs> Not quite, maybe hanging. One person hanging by their feet, the other doing a handstand. You need some acrobatics in it. That's what you got to do. Right. I don't know. I hear if I fall asleep, and I'm thinking of like holding someone in a sleeper hold while they give you oral. I mean, I feel like if I fall asleep is like where someone's doing all the work, and then like the person who's not doing the work just kind of falls asleep. And then they wake up when it's still happening. <laughs> I kind of I like the sleep. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, Mongolian uh, fire dragon. We're <laughs> seagulling. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Tom. Um, which bands did you guys grow up listening to? Which bands? I grew up listening to Guns N' Roses more than anything. Guns N' Roses, Black Sabbath, Poison. Um, a lot of, my dad had me listen to a lot of the darker classic rock of the more 70s, and my mom listened to a lot of uh, bubblegum pop rock from the 80s, like Poison, Bon Jovi, things like that. I feel like this is a good result. So I don't have to talk. Def Leppard, of course. <laughs> Motley Crue. What about Manson? Man I found Manson when he was, I found Manson when the Beautiful People became the theme song to Friday Night Smackdown. <laughs> that was how I discovered Marilyn Manson. At the time, it was Thursday Night Smackdown, the Rocks show. It's like black. If I throw my twenty-five dollar check out and I say, "Hey, oh yeah." <laughs> the only thing I really want Who would you guys love to open for? Yes. And no, not your legs, I'm talking about on stage. <laughs> what we want? On stage? Who would you guys love to open for? Like, what oh. band? I'd love to open for Marilyn Manson, Rob Zombie, Alice Cooper. I, I'd love to open for Wednesday 13 every day in the fucking year. <laughs> That's just the best. Misfits, too. I'd love to open for Michael Graves. I haven't got the chance. If he's not the acoustic thing, he's got to be the full band. Um, I know a lot of those, the shock rock bands. I don't know if he's ever had this, but I'd love to if the murder dolls ever came back. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It would never happen. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that'd be nice. I'd love, I'd love to have them for like, I don't know. He was signing the list. Not as detailed as Blood Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Cool. Cool. Very much. I'd love to open for fucking Guns N' Roses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'd be great. I fucking love that. Break, break the water. Yeah, yeah, not, 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 not. Just not. say on top of it, like on top of it. Well, Have you guys ever been picked on for the kind of music you play or the kind of music you listen to? Uh, always. It never stops. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it never stops. It started when I was in sixth grade. Thank you, Blue. And it's just never stopped since then. <laughs> oh, for me now, it's kind of like it used to happen, and now anytime someone pulls some shit, it's like I bust out a curse on their face, and they're like, you can't say shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is just stuck. Eight, like, just like eight mile. <laughs> just like eight mile. Just, just like it. I've seen this happen. <laughs> it's yeah. yes. I served a bitch. <laughs> what bothers all of you guys about the music scene the most? Justin Bieber. <laughs> I'm bothered that rap has become the rock and roll where the, the rappers are the dangerous ones. They're making